So now that the bacon is all crispy and I've seasoned it, I'm letting the grease and the bacon cool down a little bit. And once it does cool down, I'm gonna go ahead and add water to this, bring it back to a boil, and then I'll start adding the greens. Okay, I've added water to the pot, creating my own homemade broth. Um, and I do think that this is the most important part when you're making a soup or, or when you're um, cooking greens because that's where all your flavor comes from. So yeah, so I went ahead and added water to the cooked bacon and the, the drippings, bacon drippings or bacon grease, whatever you want to call it. I have went ahead and added water to this. And once that comes up to a boil, I'm going to taste the seasoning to, or taste the broth to make sure it tastes exactly like I like it. And once that important step is completed, I'll go ahead and add the greens. But while we're waiting on this to, to come to boil, let's cut up our greens. And I'm using a mixture of mustard and collard. talking to me yeah I'm gonna let the collard greens cook first because they are more of a tougher leaf than the other greens So I'm going to let that cook down a little bit and I'm going to go ahead and finish cutting up the other greens, the, the other collars that I have left in the back and I'll be right back. I'm just putting in the rest of the collard greens here and we're going to let that cook down a little bit before adding the other variety of greens because I think those cook a little bit faster and we don't want, well at least I don't want my greens I want them cooked and flavorful, but not mushy. Let's go ahead and cut up an onion and add it to the pot. Okay, I'm gonna let these collard greens cook for maybe 20 minutes. And then I'm gonna add the other greens to it. I 
Okay, I think it's about time to add the other greens to the pot. And I'm going to add a little bit more water because I think my broth is um, going a little bit low, lower than what I would like. So I'm going to add a little bit more water to this. But first, let me just go ahead and taste. Perfect. I'm trying to decide if I want to add a little bit touch of vinegar to give it that extra taste, but I'm not sure if I want to or not because that's almost perfect. So let's go add the other greens to this pot. Okay, y'all, here's the other, the other greens that I'm going to add. So. Okay, y'all, it shouldn't take too much longer for the greens to be ready and ready to eat. I may make cornbread with it. I may not. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I want to do yet. Um, but as y'all saw, I used bacon, you know, fried the bacon for that flavor. But I know a lot of people either don't eat pork at all or don't eat meat all together. And if you don't, that's fine. You can always use vegetable, um, vegetable broth, or actual, you know, make your own vegetables from celery, onion, and natural herbs and other seasonings to make your broth taste good. And, but that's it. That's how I make um, the greens. And I will see y'all in the next video. Thank you for watching.